Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Paro and I'll be playing C Block today. Let's see what happened in the previous episode. I feel like in the previous episode we finished construction of this uh, awesome city block that produces brass. We don't really have a like a need for brass at the moment. But uh, it should be useful uh, in the future. So what I want to check now, I want to check if I separate these things, like if I remove these rubber ports, will the blocks themselves still have access, like connection to rubber ports or not? That's the question. Because I have a feeling that this rubber port might be, might be useful. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, I feel like this is the place for this rubber part. And uh, it wouldn't connect to this one. Interesting. How about this? How about I actually make it always placed there? I think that's good. And this one, it doesn't quite fit there. Let's see. Uh, what should we do today? What's the goal for today? I think we need to do something about this uh, biters and this biters and basically all biters that we see. I just need to take this area. Maybe drop it here. Maybe do something like this. Uh, and here as well, right? We want to be able to deal with the biters, and we almost cannot. Let's do something like this. Nice. Let's press it. So I will uh, remove biters from that part. Might make sense to start landfilling this area a little bit. This one, also this one, so I'll need to clear this biters as well at some point, uh, we'll see. For now I'm more focused on, uh, on this block, like, I want this block so that we can get uh, science production and we might even be able to get uh, uh, blue science production as well. So with blue science it's gonna be a bit tricky because we are missing naphtha, right? We don't really have petri uh, petri done. And I'm not sure where to have it. What what do we have here? Oh we have this thing. One second of trade. Let's uh I said nice. Nice. So we know what we are building. That's good. Right, I'm not gonna do, uh, like, I'm not gonna produce cobalt here because it's tier 3 material and I don't feel like uh, I actually need it. We could deliver it in theory, but we don't have a lot, right? We just have 1000. But we could deliver it in theory from here. Maybe. Maybe we should finish glass production, but for glass, uh, for glass we need this research. And right now we have a problem with research. What are we missing? We are missing iron. Right, we are missing iron because we just don't have it. We don't have iron because we are shot on Javelite. And we are shot on Javelite. Why? Because we are consuming all Javelite. Produce Javelite chunks. And we need Javelite chunks. Why? Again. Um, right. Something is happening here. That's bad. 
that is not good. Let's say place one here. We'll place another one here. One, two, this there. This should help a bit. So it can be removed. And we are missing. Wow. Yeah, that's um, tricky. Now we lost. We lost some robots. That's sad. Can I? I can start clearing them. Yeah, but it will be a, a bit slow. It's okay. It is okay. I'm sorry, robots. I'm sorry. Let's stop this for now. Let's save our robots. And I need to do something here. This will be cleared. Okay. We'll do that. So, what I was saying, I was saying that. Uh, I cannot build glass uh, until I get uh, glass research, which is, uh, no, not this one. I was just showing it. This one, right? I really want this research for glass, so we'll potentially, we'll, we'll probably wait for it. And meanwhile, this part is not researching because of the lack of iron. And we have lack of iron because everything is going here. Oh. Wait. That is bad. Oh no. Oh no. So, <laughs> this is the answer. Let's check. Do we have similar problems with something else? A crushed sephirite. A lot of sephirite. This is uh, understandable. Wow, I actually want to look at the stations, actually. Uh, let's see again. Right, requested, okay, whatever. Is this all requested, right? Or provided? Yes, and this is provided stuff, let's see. We have a lot of javelite chunks. We have a lot of sephirite. Uh, that's okay. That is okay. I'm really surprised, by the way, by this amount. How? I don't understand how, but okay. Um, here the numbers are reasonable. Reasonable numbers, 50,000. We want 50, 50,000 everywhere. This should also be 50,000 at some point, but it's okay. It's, it's, it will probably go up. All right, because uh, uh, trains are requesting these things. Right, so the only potential problem is crushed sephirite station. Why do we have so much sephirite? Like, are we missing a... Yes, we are missing a limit. Okay, this is better, right? <laughs> Overproduced sephirite, but it's okay, because it will be delivered uh, right here uh, relatively soon. Let's observe what we have. Uh, right, javelite problem is fixed. This should stop uh, consumption of javelite from everywhere. We consumed a lot of it. And this should restore uh, deliveries of javelite, uh, crushed javelite to iron block, to this block. That's good. Now, what should we do next? I don't want to build this part yet. I don't want to build these two uh, blocks yet, even though it might uh, seem like a good idea. I feel it's a bit too early. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really... Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's a bit too early. We probably don't really have such a huge prob problem with that. But we might do that at some point. We should definitely consider doing that. So let's uh, let's say I want to land fill this part a little bit to start clearing this uh, 
uh, biters because I will want to expand. I will want to expand in that direction as well. I just don't want to expand kind of in both directions at the same time, you know. This part is not needed. The robots are super slow, by the way. Everything is super slow. This part is built, so we can continue with this thing. And this one will hopefully be built soon. And then we'll play stuff here as well. Uh, do we, where is our robot? Okay, we, we need a little bit closer rubber parts. Alright, this part. I don't really have any plans for this uh, the rail blocks yet. I don't know what to, what to place there. It might make sense to actually place uh, geode production here. Because I don't think that this will be enough, what we have. And by placing job production here, it will even look somewhat nice, right? Because the deliveries will be coming here, they will go up, up, and drop things. Wait. No, that's not the way they're going. They will go here, up, and drop the things here. That's good. That's good enough, to be honest. So I'll probably want... Uh, I'll probably have uh, geodes here as well. So we'll have... Uh, it's like 4, 12, 24 blocks of geode uh, processing. I don't know. Is it a lot? Probably is. But at least um, we'll have space to like rearrange things at a later point, at the stage of the game. So this, this should be fine. That's kind of general idea of what I have in mind for now. And we might also have some power plants built, uh, let's see, here and maybe here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's say that we'll have a power plant, but we'll have a nuclear power here. What is nuclear? Um, power is here, right? And it's a steam turbine that gets us nuclear, I think. Let's uh, place it here. And we'll place a similar one here. So steam turbine will be here, right? That's the idea. Close this block. Here and here. Nice. Okay, so we have uh, something to get out with the power, potentially. We'll see. Right. What I wanted to do today. I wanted to do the glass, but I cannot do glass. So I guess it will have to be the signs, most likely. And I'm a bit... Uh, Out of space or science. So we don't actually have science uh, ready for this episode. I'm not sure whether whether we should be working on it today. Because it's already like what? Almost 15 minutes and we are not quite close to getting this block. Um, Cleared. So let's uh, dedicate this uh, you know, uh, episode <laughs> to Lindfillin. <laughs> we'll be Lindfillin, or oh, not even Lindfillin, uh, we'll be fighting the biters, the worms. This is gonna be uh, what we'll be doing today. We'll be dealing with worms again. Okay, this is good. This part. Can we do something about it? Yeah, we can actually remove this one. That's nice. And uh, can we do anything here? Yeah, this part should be dealt with soon. 
We don't have um, signals. I'm surprised. Why we don't have signals? What are our signals, first of all? Well, because we are building only five signals. Why, why would we do that? Why would we limit our signal production to five? Because we need signals in huge amounts, usually. Okay. That is good. Stuff is working. We are still not getting any iron. Are we? Where is our iron? Our iron is here. You know, since we are talking about... Uh... Note, I want to upgrade uh, power poles here to the uh, better ones. I just want to have uh, all of them upgraded. Because... Um... Yeah. I don't want to use old ones anywhere anymore. So I elaborate uh, other parts later. This one is new. This one is new. This one is new. Okay, this is old. I'm not gonna upgrade it. Here, um, I'm not gonna be upgrading this because it doesn't uh, need to be upgraded. Right, with this approach, it's just gonna work all the time. Everything is separated from the network, so it should be okay. Right, plastic. Do we want to improve our plastic production a little bit? Or not really? No, I don't think we want. It's fine. We'll keep plastic as our bottleneck. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, I know what we'll do today. This is gonna be interesting. We will build the station that will be like recycling our barrels. And we'll use a trick with LTN to make it actually work. Okay, let's do this. Uh, this is using good thing. Um, let, me, let me go there. The idea of the station, we want to uh, we want to move around uh, liquids. That's uh, basically our goal. Okay, uh, this is a requester. This one is a provider. So, as I said, we want to deliver fluids uh, in barrels. And I guess, uh, what else do we have? I guess it's like barrels, canisters, and bottles. I don't know the difference, to be honest. I guess some things go in canisters, some things go in bottles, some go in barrels. It, it's okay. It doesn't matter. So this uh, thing will actually be about all three of them. Right, we'll need barrels. Um, yeah, let's say we have barrels. We'll have canisters and we'll have uh, bottles. Nice, and this will just delete. So, the purpose of the station will be <coughs> to make sure that the trains uh, that finish delivery, so the trains that are delivering fluids somewhere, let's say, let's say they will be delivering fluids from. Uh, from here, here, or like gas, right? Right now we have a pipe, we're just delivering it via pipe, but in theory it could be done uh, via trains. What would happen in that case? Uh, here we will load uh, barrels of uh, fluid into the station, and these barrels will come here. So empty barrels will be received uh, on this side, they will be filled up with the gas and uh, or whatever, and they will be placed in this warehouse, and then they will be delivered somewhere, let's say here. Dropped off here, and then they will be unbarreled, uh, converted into, like, basically, the liquid will be extracted from them, and empty barrels will have to be, sorry, not like this. They will come here, 
will be belted here. The liquid will be extracted and then empty barrels will be dropped off here. So we will have a constant uh, kind of supply of barrels uh, being moved into uh, provider warehouses and we will have a demand for barrels uh, on uh, on this side, right? So we'll have this thing supplying barrels, these things will be demanding barrels. And uh, the thing is that sometimes sometimes we'll have too many barrels in these warehouses. In which case we don't want to block warehouse, we want to move the barrels into like temporary storage. Here, this will be our kind of centralized storage of the barrels. And also barrel making facilities, so in case uh, uh, we have too many uh, uh, liquid deliveries happening at the same time, it would increase the uh, requirements for barrels, right, because we'll have to transport lots of barrels in the trains. And this is the block that we'll be building them and, uh, you know, and actually delivering them here. That's kind of the idea. Let's uh, try and uh, actually build this part. So, what do we need for barrel? For barrel we need steel. For this we need iron, plastic and empty barrel. Okay. For this we need steel, plate and empty canister. Okay. Okay, so it's basically kind of tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 in a way. And we need steel, plastic and iron, right? Iron, steel, plastic. Let's request the things here from the beginning. We'll build it somehow. Um, we'll figure it out. What exactly we want. <laughs> Wait, this is output. What am I doing? Uh, this is input. Right, and we actually want to connect it. We want to connect this one to the input and this one to the output. Nice. So, let's request, uh, first of all, let's call this, uh, uh, let's call it barrels, barrels, and just so that it's clear to everyone that we are not talking only about barrels, we'll have this thing as well. Nice. Looking good. This is input station. This is uh, obviously output station for barrels. Output. Now, we want it to request barrels, empty canisters, and empty bottles. Obviously, that's the main thing that it's requesting. And it also needs to be able to build them, right? We need iron, steel, and what was that again? Plastic? Right, let's double check. So we need steel, iron, plastic, steel. That's looking good to me. This is good. Awesome. Another thing, I'm not sure about... Oh, it's like a stack threshold. It's, we are doing st stuff in stacks. Let's actually see how much is one stack of this. Okay, this is 10. Um, what about uh, one stack of this? 10. One stack of this? 10. So all of them are um, like going in one stack. And we probably want to have 200 stacks of each. Right? We want to get 200. Is that correct? We basically want full trains to deliver excess uh, barrels to us. Yeah. That's what we want. It's so nice to play with uh, stack thresholds because in 0.17 I, uh, Altian mode also supported stack thresholds, but uh, I was using the request, request thresholds and the thing with them is that it's kind of tricky because depending on the material, like we will observe it here, depending on the material, the actual amount is like either 2,000 or 40,000. And okay, these numbers are fine, you can calculate them, but this one is tricky. Like request stack threshold, it's like it actually gives you, you know, variable 
request thresholds based on the material type. So this thing is awesome. I highly recommend to use this one always instead of uh, request threshold and the same with the uh, uh, provider thresholds. I recommend using uh, provider stack thresholds all the time and just forget about uh, regular ones like this ones. Just don't use them. Uh, that's my recommendation. Request stack, stack thresholds are just, they are so good. They are very, very good. Okay, so we'll have some stuff being delivered here. And um, I don't actually know what we are delivering right now. We are getting, okay, we are getting, uh, I guess, steel without iron. That's because uh, this train uh, uh, triggered the delivery first. Now, now, what should we do? I want to have these things requested all the time. And let's say, it, it, like, it doesn't matter, like the balancing here doesn't matter. I, I'll just, uh, I, I'm just gonna be uh, extracting everything from one side. I do want to adjust a little bit the balancer here, because each stack size is uh, 10. Like if we do it like this, it means that, okay, it can still be bad. Let's say we'll make it 50. I mean, 30 is actually fine. Let's reduce it to 50. Just so that uh, things are balanced a little bit better. Oh, but we also have regular ones. Okay, never mind. Let's, let's not adjust these things. I, I, I don't like uh, this part of the build, the balancer, because it doesn't work really nicely with uh, uh, items of mixed uh, stack sizes like we have here. But we can potentially fix the issue. Yeah, we can fix the issue just uh, by overriding stack size at some point to some like small number or whatever. It's okay. It shouldn't really think about it too much. Right, this one will be ba uh, barrels. This one will be canisters and this one will be uh, empty bottles. Awesome, looking good. Now, what should we do next? I want to basically have belts going here and just exporting all that stuff. Just export everything like this, right? And we'll deliver things uh, here with loaders again. I really like loaders. And these are nice. These loaders are nice. They don't have any extra entities inside, like inserters or whatever that is present in uh, mini loaders. They do have a drawback. They are 2 by one tile, which makes uh, them trickier to use, uh, basically much harder to use in beacon setups. And here we don't quite have enough space to add, uh, like, uh, we don't have quite enough space to add, uh, like, a cable to check the content right here. We have to do it, like, externally from the block, which is the part that I don't really like. But uh, it, it's okay. It is okay. Not that big of a deal. Right. Here. What we do want. We want to extract the other things, right? We want to extract steel. Let's see. How do I want this part to be working? I want to have... Okay, interesting. How should we do it? I want to have storage tank for this stuff. Let's, let's remove this part. I'm, I'm not sure I like it. 
I am not sure I actually like it. Let's figure this out again. Like, what exactly are we doing? I want to have a storage tank here. Let's see here. And here. Let's say we have three storage tanks. And they will be giving us some materials. Like this one, this one, and this one. Okay, like this. Actually, make it a little bit nicer. So we have three storage tanks that are just providing things into uh, this warehouse. And we have some space between them, because why not? Why wouldn't we leave some space? We also have uh, three belts loading them with things. So this is one. We will have another one here and here and I'm leaving space to be able to like build more storage tanks uh, storage warehouses in case I need them and I might need them basically it depends on the amount of barrels that we have in the system I want this block to be able to uh, keep all the barrels that we need so all the barrels should be able to be stored in this block and uh, yeah hence basically this thing that I'm doing However, in addition to that, we should also have a way to actually uh, add things into these warehouses. And maybe we should be adding things from above. I'm not sure. Maybe we should move all of this a little bit lower. Like, let's say we're moving it here. And this one is the output. One output, another output, third output. And we'll have input, right? We'll have input going here. We'll have another input. Let's do this. Have another input going uh, here. And another input going here. And we'll add, uh, you know, I will add some uh, conditions at some point. That's, that's okay, that's that's not the important thing. Oh, look at this, we even have enough um, space here. Mm. Okay, look at this. It looks, it's looking pretty good, in my opinion. This is looking pretty good. It's okay, it doesn't matter. The important part is that we have the things delivered into these warehouses, into the very final ones. So the idea is that we will be uh, kind of building extra things only, only here. We will be, sorry, we will be producing, like, uh, we are requesting materials uh, here and we are requesting them in order to produce the barrels and we will be doing we'll have the production running only in case only in case we actually need it to run right that's basically the idea let's see how we can connect things here maybe like this is this a good idea or not really i hope it's okay Right, here yeah, we want to request steel. This is our steel. We want to request uh, iron. And we want to request plastic, right? This plastic. Plastic is here. Right, and we are missing all of these things. We'll be able to produce only the barrels for now. How should we do it in a nice way? Let's say... Let's say we'll have uh, something like this, right? Let's say we have barrel production happening here. So these are our barrels. And we are producing them from... Uh, we are producing them here from steel. So let's have a belt of steel coming up. Okay, this thing 
this is like a, a, a border, right, of what we are not allowed to do. So this will be our steel input, actually. I changed my mind. This will be steel input, and we will be producing some barrels here. Um, say we will start from here. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Eight should be more than enough. I don't actually know whether that's uh, like a good number or not a good number. It doesn't matter much. I just want the stuff to produce barrels. And that's it. I just want to get a lot of barrels. Nice. We don't need still anymore. So we will not be requesting. And this one. I guess it will move, we'll move it here. Yeah. This is the part that gets us lots of barrels. They will come here. Nice. And I can actually start the production by delivering steel here. Look at this. It's working. Oh, we'll be working in a moment. Um, Nice. And that's it. And with that, we have... We have barrel production. Uh, I will also need to place this on both sides of the belt, I think. I mean, it's not really required, but I just want it to look like this. Right. And what we need, we need to put a couple of limits here. Let's say, I, I don't want these things to work. I don't want this one to work if the number of uh, barrels exceeds... Uh, what was like a full train again? It's like 2000. Okay, we can do that. So I don't want it to work if the number of barrels is more than 2000. That's 150, right? Um, wait, this works if it's less. Right, this one will be the same for canisters, and it's a less sign. And this one will be for empty bottles, and again with a less sign. Uh, this one, on the other hand, we want to have 150, right? 150 is uh, 1.5 thousand. Actually, we can make it a little bit more. Right, because this is private threshold, we can actually keep 200, um, sorry, yeah, 200 there. So it's, uh, while this is less than, again, 2000, I mean, we could make it 4000, to be honest. We could keep two, okay, so this will be 400 times three. This will be 1.2 thousand, so this should actually be enough. Um, like, not, not enough, but it should fit into the size of this uh, uh, station of, of this warehouse. Right, and we are getting, like, we, we have lots of barrels. Check this out. And now, cool thing will happen. You will observe it. Trains will start running circles here. They will start grabbing these barrels and they will be delivering them here barrels will go into this uh, warehouse and they will go in in a circle and this is a bad thing right you don't want to have this but this is the problem that you'll get all the time like every time when you have this kind of storage facilities like whether it be for barrels or it could be for sulfur sulfur you know something that grabs sulfur collects it stores it in centralized uh, place and then exports it again. We'll have these issues, like look at this. We are getting barrels, they are being moved into this warehouse. At some point this thing will stop working, obviously, right? Because at some point uh, this warehouse will have, uh, let's say, enough uh, barrels. But th that is a real issue. And I know, like sometimes people are asking, Hey, like, what do you do in this case? I want to have, like, a sulfur distribution facility or, like, ore distribution or whatever. 
and the trains are running like this. How do I fix it? And the answer is simple, except I forgot it. Last time I played, you know, reached the stage of C block, played with LT and was like two and a half, three years ago. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember when it was. Basically, 0 017. And I started the run uh, around New Year, so I guess it's clo closer to uh, three years now. So the way you do this is you're, you're fixing it by playing with network IDs. So, the way network IDs work in LTN is uh, you essentially, it's like a binary kind of mask. You have uh, 32 bits and you can specify um, which trains. So, if you have, okay, a train, a train can connect to stations, at least that's what I understand. It can connect to stations if, if, and don't leave. Uh, binary end of network ID masks, like bit masks, is not zero of two, these two stations. And maybe it also applies to depot. I don't know uh, whether depots uh, support. Let's check uh, network ID. I would assume they also support, and it might actually work the same way with depot. So. Basically, LTN will... I, I'm not sure about Depot. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but I'm assuming it would work the same way. It's actually very easy to check. Uh, so what what, what, we, what can we do to fix this? What can we do to make sure that these masks do not really intersect? It's really easy. It's really easy. You take uh, this one and you give it ID of... Uh, Okay, okay, let's just let's just do it simple. One, we j we want only this one to be available. However, however, it will still uh, deliver things. We will actually make a test right now to figure out how the power works, uh, how the powers work. So it will still continue deliveries. We will wait a little bit more, right? Deliveries will continue because one uh, and uh, uh, minus one. Yeah, it's still one, right? This thing is enabled for both of the stations, so it will continue to work. Let's actually try and make uh, an experiment. We'll, we'll do a small test. Let's say we will tell this one that it has only two, and I'll need to do the same thing here, right? Uh, it has only two. So in theory, this should stop the train. I, I will reveal this part because I don't want my depot to be limited. I just want to know whether it actually works. So that change, if depot also respect network ID, it should stop. Like it should ensure that we are not getting any trains delivered here. So this, I guess, is uh, uh, an old train or something. It could be one of the old ones that was sent out previously. Let's see. Are we getting more trains or not? Maybe we will even uh, get some messages about... Oh, look at this. No train to transport from... Oh, right, so we don't have train to transport from this station to this station in network 1. Right, look at this with length, whatever, we don't have length limits, we are not using it. So, network, sorry, depots respect the, th the thing, right? So we tested it. Depots respect network ID. Let's revert this, because I don't actually want it to be, uh, like, I, I don't want my depots to be limited yet. I, I actually did this test, because I want to do that for depots uh, serving this section of the rail. Of, of our build. I want to have a depot maybe somewhere here. Wait, why do I have it here? So if I have power production here, I might as well have a depot here. So, but I also have a depot here. I'll, I'll basically figure this out. I will. I want to limit the spot. I want to limit the spot and yeah, we'll probably limit it uh, like train depot here or something. It, it's, it's okay. It's uh, 
I, I'll do it just in order to make the traffic a little bit nicer, right? Because this way I can you know, assign um, trains to specific kind of things. And yeah, anyway, I hope it makes made sense. So with this approach, we're still getting uh, the things. They're still... Uh, what are the stations? We actually have network IDs here, right? Right one. So uh, we still have uh, trains kind of running around. So let's say we will not give one. Let's say I'm given th uh, 31 to this one. And 32 to this one. Oh, wait. No, 32. This one. Now, they actually have different network IDs. Uh, by different, I mean the end bitwise end operation between them results in zero, right? Bit number 32 is lit up here, and here it's only bit number 31. And the reason I uh, choose this one is because I'll probably, I, I thought that I'll probably play with uh, network IDs for ORs, etc., etc., and I want to keep uh, lower bits uh, available. For like more widespread use because this thing is uh, it's just about the station it's just about uh, prevention of the loop you can you can choose uh, any two different bits you can even choose combinations of them to be honest uh, it doesn't really matter no you just need to make sure that bitwise sent is zero and look at this we do not have any requests happening anymore because of the tick, right? So let, let me show it again. If I enable bit 32 that matches this one, if I enable it, we'll get a train delivering this thing. We'll have a train delivery. What is it? Okay, here we have it. For a moment I thought, what? <laughs> So we have a train delivery, but so now the train will uh, finish the delivery uh, in any case. But now when I split them like this, we don't actually have the problem. Yeah, this is input, one output at a time. Yeah, and we shouldn't have more of this uh, like cycling around. Oh, look at this, we are, uh, we are making some battles. So that's basically the idea of the build. I'll have exactly the same thing, well, not exactly the same thing, I'll just need a production line, a couple of production lines for this two, and everything will work. One thing that I want to change, I don't want the station to uh, give me warning messages, because uh, it's supposed, like, during normal operation, it's supposed to run out of uh, empty uh, barrels, canisters, and bottles to request, right? So, all should be stored here, and I don't want to see the notifications that, hey, I do not see a barrel, uh, like, I cannot deliver a barrel to this, um, to the station. Yeah? Uh, what is this thing? I'm confused. How did we get this question? <laughs> I don't know what the sign is about. <laughs> right, let's maybe make it a bit nicer to look at. Okay. I think that was pretty good. We built uh, this thing, reducing barrels. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we are a bit short on plastic and iron, so I'm not getting iron and plastic, but I will build like parallel lines, basically here, I will have a line producing um, canisters, like here, I can just like turn this around and have like second input, and I'll do exactly the same thing with empty bottles, right, I'll have another line here. I could even build them now, to be honest, but should I? Should I do that? I mean, let's do this. 
Let's do this. I am not gonna connect them just yet, but... Let's do this. Let's say we have this thing. And we want... Uh, some extra... Things. And... I probably want to copy this one. Place it here. That's fine. Alright, I'm waiting for this fast inserters to change the length a bit, so that it, uh, it's looking a bit nicer. And I don't need to do this trick here, be right? because this ones require only steel and empty canisters. So, if I rotate, what is it, if I turn this thing and pull it to the side, it should just work. Right, so this will be steel. Uh, this will be a mix of uh, two things. It will go something like this. Actually, a mix of this two. I'll just deliver this. We'll deliver them here. We'll match these two things. Uh, I'll need, I'll need a splitter. Splitter is going here. Um, let's continue using red belts everywhere. Right, so I imagine still with uh, what did we need? We required uh, empty canisters, right? So I just matched. Oh, uh, what? I think I misclicked or something. Okay, this is looking better. This one reducing empty canisters. We have a priority. No, we don't have any. We do have priority to the right. Maybe. So this is a bit questionable thing. Where should we? Like, should we have any priority at all? Uh, I feel like it's fine. Let's just prioritize uh, given things. Yeah, um... Right, I'll just have something like this. And I need to make it a little bit longer inserter. Like this. Check this out. One, two. Nice. So, that's uh, pretty much uh, the build. And we'll obviously need to connect the things over there. I am not going to actually connect things until I see the correct materials being delivered because the size of the warehouse is kind of large. So I want to make sure. I mean, it's kind of stupid, I guess, what I'm saying. That's, that's just the way I like things to be. I like to first see the production uh, running properly, and only afterwards I will actually. Uh, start storing it somewhere. And yeah, we are shutting plastic here. That is okay. We know that the plastic is one of our um, you know, weaker, you could say, parts of the base design. We, we know this. Um, can, we, can we do anything here? That's the question. And I feel that we should be able to, but the problem is that we need to connect this. So, and this one. Let's do this. Let's remove this nest. Right. So, once we build here, yeah, we should clear that part. I forgot about, again, about uh, expanding the base. Yeah. Do something about this one. Yes, we can. Awesome. Nice. And we probably won't remove this one, but it's a, it's a bit tricky because I need to reach 
Okay, I need to reach it first. And uh, I I don't actually see. Okay, now now I see it. Should be good. Huh? When it's dark, it's really hard to see uh, the range of the turrets. What what's happening? All oh, right, 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 right. Let's, uh, let's stop this. We really need to remove um, the worms first. Okay, awesome. We'll we'll have it done in no time. Now. Should we do anything here? I feel like we should. Yeah, this area. And... Uh, this area is fine, right? So we just need to... Maybe do something like this. And have... Okay, we'll do it like this. Nice. I want to... Uh, remove this worms and maybe uh, maybe this worms as well. Let's go top. Yeah. Right. We'll we'll slowly uh, we'll slowly do that. I I don't want to build this one because then the robots might be uh, flying across. So it's a bit it's a bit tricky to. Clear the area without. Oh no! Wait, we lost a turret. This is really bad. This is really bad. I need to be more careful with turrets because I cannot actually. I cannot produce fresh ones. I mean, I could from this uh, artifacts. How much? How many artifacts do I have? Okay, nice. We actually do have some artifacts. I don't know how that happened, because I thought that when we are killing uh, worms, we are not getting artifacts from them, but it seems that I was not correct. Um, do we have turrets produced right now? No, we don't, because we are shot on Invar. No, on cobalt steel. They're shot on cobalt steel. But it is supposed to come here. I think. Wait, 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 wait. Should move. Let's move here and check. So cobalt steel is supposed to come here. Right, and we just don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. It explains it, and we also don't have iron. That is a... Uh, um, yeah, that's unfortunate that you don't have it. It's okay, I actually don't need to move physically. Uh, this part is done, right? We achieved what we wanted. We can continue building. This area. Uh, this thing is also not needed. We can remove all of that. This one. It's probably needed. This thing not needed anymore. Nice. And here. Is there anything useful? I don't think so. Alright. So we almost, we almost have um, this block ready to be, uh, no, we almost have the area cleared so that we can uh, start building the signs here. That's, that's great. This is really good. Now, here, do I want to do anything? No, don't, don't. We are fine the way we are. This part must be removed, I think. This part we are building slowly, and this one we are waiting for this one to be built first. And once this one is built, then we'll uh, start building this one because of uh, the worms in the middle. 
let's remove all of that. I feel like it's looking pretty good. Anything lying around? Some random stuff. So the reason why we have some items dropped on the ground is because um, occasionally uh, we were running out of power and we were running out of, out of power then the logistic connection like, and rubber port is losing all energy then logistical network like the connection you know, disappears and we end up with uh, multiple uh, networks and this leads to all kinds of problems. Yeah, awesome. So let's let's recap what we did in this episode. We built, uh, well, we cleared uh, uh, some area from worms, and we also built this awesome station that is uh, producing lots of uh, barrels for this uh, like battle production facility. We might end up uh, build, building like a line of warehouses here. That's basically the idea. Uh, but right now, it's it doesn't seem to be needed. So we are not doing that. And we set it up in a way that um, uh, LTN doesn't try to constantly deliver things like in a circle by using uh, network IDs. But Okay, and with that, I feel like uh, we could stop the episode here. So now it's also not needed. Yep. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Cheers!